chapter 1 identity well chapter 1 starts with a wonderful shloka from the bhagavad gita and it goes like this it is better to live your own destiny imperfectly than to live an imitation of somebody else's life perfectly our identity is wrapped up in what others think of us or more accurately what we think others think of us isn't it if we think someone we admire sees wealth as success then we start chasing the wealth to impress that person if we think our friends are judging our looks we start tailoring our appearances how can we recognize who we are and what makes us happy if we are chasing the distorted reflection of somebody else's dreams Jay Shetty explains that the hardest part about becoming a monk was not about letting the fun stuffs go like partying, sex, watching TV or owning stuffs. The biggest hurdle for him to overcome was breaking his career choices to his parents. Jay Shetty's family was surrounded by the friends and relatives who shared the doctor, lawyer and failure definition of success. His friends and relatives were saying that he's not going to get a job again after becoming a monk. He's going to waste his whole life. There is an amazing quote that really resonated with me and it goes like this. When you try to live your most authentic life, some of your relationships will be put in jeopardy. Losing them is a risk worth bearing. Finding a way to keep them in your life is a challenge worth taking on. He said that he cared about the people who loved him and didn't want them to worry but neither did he let their definition of success and happiness dictate his choices there is an amazing part in the book which talks about values well our values are defined by what we experience values make it easier for you to make the right decisions to choose the right people around you and focus your attention where it matters the most Our values are influenced by whatever absorbs our mind. The movies we watch, the music we hear, the books we read, the TV shows we binge, and the people we follow online and offline. The more we are absorbed in celebrity gossips, images of success, violent video games, or troubling news, the more our values are tainted with discrimination, discontentment, and judgment. Jay says that when he was in the ashram he did not watch any movies or tv shows and he barely received any news or emails he says that when we tune out the expectations obligations and opinions of the world around us we begin to hear ourselves the problem is we don't like to be alone with our own thoughts there is a research which has been done by the university of virginia and harvard which says that people would rather take an electric shock then be alone with their own thoughts isn't that incredibly shocking when we fill up our lives and leave no room for ourselves to reflect those distractions become our values by default no matter what you think your values are your actions tell the real stories what you do with your spare time shape your values who you talk to what you watch and what you do with your time all these resources push beliefs and values When you give yourself space and stillness you can actually clean the dust and see yourself not from someone else's eyes but from within identifying your values and letting them guide you will help you filter your external influences hey guys thank you so much for watching the video which is about the summary of chapter 1 which is about identity and values please 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 give me your valuable feedback and please share this video as much as possible that would mean so much to me and i'll see you in the next video where i'll talk about the summary of the second chapter which is about negativity so please stay tuned and i love you all take care guys